Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Please ignore the dribble mark um, on my top. Basically I thought oh I'll just have a quick drink before I film this video and typically as I always do because I am the messiest person ever I happened to dribble some down my top. So moving on today you join me for my what's in my hospital bag video. So um, the what's in my baby's hospital bag video is already up, I will link it at the end of this video and down below so you can go and watch it if you haven't already, but this one is going to be what's in my hospital bag. So I'm just going to crack on and get started, um, I'm not going to show it in any particular order, I'm just going to pull things out of the bag because obviously the bag's already been packed and I'm going to have to repack it after filming this video, so I'm just going to pull it out and then pop it back. So. The bag I'm using is this ooh, giant weekend bag that I got from Accessorize a few years ago. I didn't go out and buy a bag specifically for taking to the hospital with me, but I thought this one's quite big, it can fit quite a lot in, and obviously being a first time mum, I don't know what I'm going to need, what I'm going to use. I've just sort of followed advice that I've seen online, advice from friends and family, and I'm kind of hoping for the best. So. Here we go. First things first, I have an old towel. Um, this is by no means a fancy towel, it's one that hardly gets used, so if it gets ruined then so be it. Um, but I thought I'll take my own towel with me because I've heard mixed things about the hospital that I am going to be delivering at. Some people have said, oh you don't need to take a towel. Other people have said, oh I took a towel and I'm so glad that I did. So I'm going to take one. Um, Plus it's nice to have your own towel I suppose as well, just makes it a bit more sort of like a home comfort. I have this wash bag, now this I got as like a kit from Boots, they have like a new mum kit that has some stuff in it already, um, which I'll link down below, um, so you can go find it if you wanted to get one. So it comes in this, and inside you get some oil, which I haven't packed, um, and then I think you also get some pads um, for your breasts pads for your lady area and what else was in there oh a nipple cream um, I'm not sure if there was anything else in there but I'll just show you what I've packed in here so I've got some Batiste dry shampoo because I'm not sure if I'm gonna want to wash my hair or not but I might want to freshen it up at least um, I've got some Mitchum roll-on deodorant and this one's really good because it is unscented and obviously like I said I'm trying to breastfeed so I didn't want to have any sort of scents on me that aren't really necessary and I didn't want to use an aerosol um, so I've just gone with the unscented Mitchum I really like Mitchum deodorant I find that it stops me sweating so there we go and they had an unscented version perfect in case I do have the energy to wash my hair I've got some little Tresemme minis here just for shampoo and conditioner just in case I do want to go and wash my hair I've also got some Nivea soft shower cream I've just packed the minis because I didn't want to take great big bottles of shower gel and shampoo and conditioner and things um, but this one is quite a sort of neutral smell it's quite kind to your skin really like Nivea so I thought this will be a good one to take with me if I do choose to have a shower I have two toothbrushes one for me and one for Jack um, obviously if I'm in the hospital for quite a while in terms of labour and Jack's come straight from work he might want to brush his teeth and freshen up I'll probably want to brush my teeth at some point as well so I've just packed us both a toothbrush each so that if he does want to freshen up he can and then I can as well obviously and then going hand in hand with the um, toothbrushes is some toothpaste. Now I usually have loads of the minis floating around because I used to work in a um, dental practice but I've actually ran out of like all my mini toothpaste and I couldn't be bothered to buy one when I had this sat in the drawer so I've just chucked a whole tube of toothpaste in um, but I thought Jack will probably be the one carrying the bags anyway so it doesn't really matter. I've got a little pack of face wipes, these are just the simple kind of skin face wipes. Um, I didn't want to take a whole big pack because I thought I'm not going to use a whole pack of face wipes so I've just got this mini pack, I um, really like simple wipes. I've got the essential <laughs> giant pack of maternity pads, um, there's 10 pads in here. I do have a pack 
like this at home as well so another 10 so if I need any more of these big ones Jack can come back and get me some because um, I think I said in my previous video we only live like 10 minutes away from the hospital so it's not the end of the world if he has to leave to go and get me something so I'm just bringing 10 for now hopefully I'll be out within 24 hours um, and hopefully I won't need more than 10 so <laughs> if I do though Jack can always come and get me some and then the breast pads as well were also something that came in the pack um, as well as those pads. These are just ultra slim breast pads, 18 pads in here. I figured I don't know what day my milk's going to come in. It might, I might not even need them whilst I'm at the hospital if my milk doesn't come in within the first couple of days. But I'm taking them just in case because you never know. And then this was also in the um, pack as well and that's the lanolin nipple cream. Um, Again, I don't know if I'll actually need it in the first few days. Um, my nipples hopefully won't get too sore. But if I do need it, then I've got it there just in case. So that's everything in the wash bag. Um, moving on, I've got a flannel. Um, this is more for if I get hot during labour and I want Jack to just dampen it and sort of dab a cold flannel on me just to cool me down. That's what this is for. Obviously, if I don't use it, during labour I can always use it in the shower after but yeah just packed a flannel I've also got a hairbrush as well because I may want to brush my hair after labour especially if I do get all sweaty and horrible um, I'll probably want to give my hair a brush and then either wash it or dry shampoo it or whatever I choose to do but I've packed a hairbrush I'm also taking a makeup bag now I may or may not feel like doing a full face of makeup after giving birth however I'd like to have the option there just in case I did feel like making myself look a bit nicer if I am going to have visitors coming and people taking pictures of me I'm quite self-conscious in terms of obviously I know that immediately after she's born I'm not going to have a full face of makeup on but in the day after you know I might want to just freshen up my face so inside the makeup bag I've packed I've got the Rimmel 3-in-1 blusher bronzer and highlight may or may not use it but there we go I've just packed one makeup brush for those powders I'm just gonna mix it all together in terms of you know I'm just gonna use the same brush for all three if I choose to use it um, I've got eyebrow pencil eyeliner I've got a face powder I've got a BB cream because I thought I'm probably not going to want like a full foundation layer on my face. So I've just packed a BB cream and I'm actually wearing this BB cream today. So I don't think it's too bad in terms of coverage. And because it's so hot, I didn't want anything heavy on my skin. Um, I've got lip balm, which I will probably want during labour. I heard that the gas and air can make your lips quite dry. So I've packed a lip balm, which I may or may not use before the rest of this makeup bag gets touched. Um, I've got some waterproof mascara. I've got my Lasting Perfection Collection Concealer, which I always go on about. I've also got a Reviving and Anti-Fatigue Illuminating Primer, just in case I'm feeling a bit fatigued after giving birth. Um, I thought that might come in handy. I've also got some hair bands, one of them, um, bobbles that's not supposed to kink your hair and then I've got hair slides in here as well um, just the little Kirby grips and a little mirror now I know that I'm possibly not actually going to use any of the makeup but I just wanted to take it with me just in case I know some people might see that as not really a necessity but for me I'm the kind of person that wears makeup every day when I go out I mean I'm not saying that I wouldn't pop to the shops without makeup on like I've been to the shops without makeup on and things like that and you guys have seen me in videos without makeup on but if it's something that's going to make me feel a little bit better after giving birth then I've packed it so I've got some paracetamol um a few people told me to take my own paracetamol just because I'll probably be in pain after and I might not be given painkillers as and when I sort of need them so I'm just packing my own paracetamol just in case and if I don't need them it means it's there if Jack needs them as well or if my mum needs some paracetamol because they're coming with me so if either of them want the painkillers they've got them there as well I've got a pair of fluffy socks I have been told that your feet can get cold during labour um, other people have said to me that they were way too hot and they can't understand why I'm packing fluffy socks I think it's one of those things where you don't really know which way it's going to go until you're there. I might get cold feet, I might get hot feet, so I thought, well, I'll pack the socks 
just in case. Although if it's anything like this temperature wise, it's like 30 degrees right now, then I can't imagine me needing fluffy socks, but who knows, I've packed them just in case. I have got a robe here, it's just a lightweight cotton one from Primark. It's just a really thin robe, it's nice feeling material um, and it's quite lightweight as well because I hear the maternity wards can be quite hot um, and it's definitely hot right now just in the country in general so this is just a lightweight robe for me to cover up with after giving birth. I have got a nighty. it's just like a dark grey and black nighty. it's really baggy, it fits me now, it's just from Primark um, and it's quite easy to just sort of pull down and up as necessary so I should be able to breastfeed in it without too many problems. I've also got two nursing bras, I've just packed a black one and a skin toned one, um, I thought I'll pack two just in case. I have got some flip flops, these are probably more to go shower in if I go shower because I don't know what kind of state the floors and that are going to be in and I don't want to get any like verrucas or anything like that so I've just got some flip flops to wear in the shower. I have got some long pyjamas, so these are just some plain black bottom, sorry there's something going past outside. Um, so yeah, I've packed a dark colour just in case of any sort of leakages or anything like that. Um, and I got these in Primark and I think I got them on a sale. So I think the bottoms were £2 and the top was £3 or vice versa. Um, the top I went and got a large so it's extra baggy and just extra easy for me to just pull up and down if I need to get my boobs out. Which I imagine I will do if I do breastfeed. Um, I am hoping to be able to use the birthing pool. Um, because of my SPD, I do struggle getting my legs into certain positions and things like that. And apparently it's supposed to be good for pain relief on the hips and things. So I am hoping to use the birthing pool. Um, so I've packed a bikini top. Um just in case I can. I think there's only two birthing pools at the hospital that I'm going to, so obviously if they're already in use, then I won't be able to use them. They can't just kick somebody out of the pool and say, this lady wants to use the pool, your time is over. But if they are available, then I would like to use it. So I've just packed the top. I've obviously not bothered to pack the bottoms because I'm not gonna need the bottoms on <laughs> whilst I'm giving birth. Um, I imagine they'd probably get in the way a little bit. Um, I've got a pack of the full brief pants from Primark, it was £2 for a pack of four um, and I just got the black and obviously I got the big pants because I thought well they'll be handy for holding the pads and things, I'm going to want some big pants and because they're £2 if they get ruined I'm not too bothered about chucking them out. Um, I also got as well, just in case I fancied using these instead of those pants, the um, disposable briefs from Boot. These are just... They're like that disposable material, um, let's see if I can, they're individually wrapped so I don't want to unwrap it all but they just come wrapped up like this. You wear them and then you can chuck them um, and I've left everything, like I've left that link down below in case you're interested in getting yourself some disposable pants um, but I thought, you know, I'm not going to be wearing any fancy underwear at this stage. But going home in, I've packed some leggings. Um, these are just some plain black, oh, sorry my hips are really aching, sorry, just trying to get comfortable, like I said, with the SPD it gets really achy sitting down, um, but anyway, to come home in I've just got some plain black um, maternity leggings, obviously I'm not going to be back into my pre-pregnancy clothes <laughs> straight after giving birth, um, I've packed a zip up hoodie because I don't know what the temperature is going to be like, I don't know what time we're going to be coming home. Obviously it's really hot right now so if it's 30 degrees I'm not going to need it but if the temperature drops which it's supposed to over the next few days this might be something that I would like. I've got a white vest top as well just to wear and then also a baggy t-shirt which is looking very scrumpled up but yeah I've got a vest top and a baggy t-shirt as well so I haven't packed anything fancy to wear home obviously we're going to be going just from the hospital to the car to the house so I've gone more for comfort than anything um speaking of comfort I've also got some slippers these were just from Primark they're slip-on slippers just to wear sort of around the ward and everything 
and then I've got a plastic carrier bag just to put any dirty stuff in um, so it's not just floating around in the bag so anything that I am taking home to wash that I don't want just touching everything else in the bag I've got a carrier bag there as well um, I do also have another bag um, which is more Jack's bag so he has got a bag ready just with a spare change of clothes in it um, if he comes straight from work or whatever he might want to change into something a bit more comfortable um, in that bag we also got some snacks so I've got like some Pringles I've got some like sugary chewy sweets so I've got like fruit pastels drumstick squashies just in case I need like an energy boost I've also got some bottles of Lucozade so a few for me and a few for him um, just in case energy starts to run low so I've got some energy drinks there I've also got some straws in that bag as well so that if I am laying down in a lot of discomfort Jack can sort of feed me the drink <laughs> using the straw um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else in that bag I didn't bring it into the room with me to film so I think that's about it just snacks drinks chewing gum there's chewing gum in there as well um, and then just anything that Jack's wanted to pack um, I think he's put a book in there and phone charges and um, things like that and then I've also got like a little note to say remember to pack my hospital notes because I have them on our sideboard at the minute because I am still having midwife appointments um, I think I mentioned before that I am being offered a sweep at 38 weeks I'm now 37 plus 5 so my appointments in two days from me filming this so by the time you see this I may or may not already have a baby um, but yeah that's everything that I've packed don't think I've forgotten anything um, but if you think there's anything else that should be included in a hospital bag do feel free to leave it in the comments because other people watching this might be looking for ideas so leave anything down below um, obviously it may be too late for me to add to my hospital bag but like I said other people may benefit from your comments so that is everything from me I hope you have enjoyed this video and um, please do give me a thumbs up if you found it useful if you like this kind of video leave your comments down below like I said and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos so that's everything from me and I will see you in my next one bye